COP30, the climate conference that takes place every year, has begun at the mouth of the Amazon River in Brazil. 145 items on the agenda to be decided over the next two weeks among the items on the agenda. 89% of people globally are concerned about climate change, according to polls. The key goal of the United Nations climate conferences is to keep in line with the promises made in the Paris Agreement, the UN Agreement in 2015, to keep greenhouse gases emitting to cause increases in temperature of 1.5 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels, right? because that's a tipping point when certain natural systems which keep the Earth's climate in balance will be overwhelmed and will become actual sources of increased climate change rather than reduce them. An example is the Antarctic ice sheet and others. Temperatures can be reversed worldwide. 90% of new electric generation is renewable based on solar and wind. The leader in that area is China, who manufactures most of the components for wind and solar and sells it all over the world, including Africa. And China is including in its own commitments to reduce emissions by 7 to 10% to reduce greenhouse gas emissions nationally. If they are actually implemented, it'll bring temperatures to 2.3 to 2.5 degrees centigrade by the end of the century. That's above the 1.5 degree limit that's been recommended by and promised by the 2015 Paris Climate Accords and is above 2.0, which is the second. How do we reach the goals that were set forth in Paris? There has to be a six time increase in reduction of greenhouse gases. To reach 2.0 degrees, two degrees centigrade by the end of the century, there must be a three times reduction in the greenhouse gas emissions. We're moving in the right direction, but not quick enough. It gets steeper every day, according to UN General Secretary Gutierrez. But he says there's no reason to give up. We must accelerate our reduction. It's still possible. The poorest nations are the most vulnerable. And we know that the G20, developed countries in the world, account for 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So it's their leadership and their commitments and their reduction of greenhouse gases that make the difference. Those countries include the US, China, India, Russia, Saudi Arabia, UK, and the European Union. We've gone in the right direction since Paris. The projections of increased temperatures have been reduced sharply because of the Paris Climate Accords and the commitments that are made by countries, but they have to be increased much more quickly and much more sharply to avoid the worst effects of climate change.